In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit text on your Wix website. So there's lots of text everywhere, right? Especially if you have a template, it's going to put in sample text and some different areas where you can create paragraphs and stuff. Like this one right here says, I'm a paragraph. Click here to add your own text. So if we click on this, it doesn't just let us edit the text, does it? Even though this says edit text up here, it opens the text settings, but it might be kind of confusing. What you really need to do anytime you want to edit some text is actually just double click on it. So we double click in there and we can highlight and edit text. We can add text here. We can click and highlight words to edit text and delete it and do whatever you want here with your text box, just like any text box anywhere, anywhere that you're used to. Now, what is this edit text? Well, this is kind of like the text settings. Inside the text settings, we can do some different things. We can set up themes on our website for text. So you could choose between some different themes or maybe some themes already set up for your website. So we could immediately just add this different theme to this text box to change the theme. And then we can go down in here and regardless of the theme, we can change things like the font. We can change the font size. Let's go change the font to maybe this Hebo medium. And then we can change like bold, italic, underline. We can change the color of our text. We can also highlight certain areas of text. Now let me show you something. Right now, all of our text is highlighted. So any change we make here happens to all of the text. What if I wanted to highlight just click here, or maybe just this sentence right here. Click here to add your own text. Well, if I highlight it by clicking and dragging across that text, I can then make changes to only that text. So if I actually want to highlight it, I could click this button, click a color, and now only what I had highlighted is being edited. Same thing with any of these properties. I want it italicized, only what I had highlighted gets italicized. So any of this text setting options will be applied to whatever you basically distinctively highlight. We have it all highlighted, then font size, etc., will change, but whatever we had individually highlighted will stay the same. Now you have all these other options like linking. You could link words or the whole paragraph of text. You can set up the alignment. This is center aligned. We could do left aligned or right or justified across. We can set up bullets and numbering so you can make lists. We can also decrease or increase the indent and change the text direction. There are some effects we can add here if I don't click on the wrong boxes, like for instance, a shadow. Now my text isn't highlighted, so I probably need to highlight something to add that shadow in there. You can see there's a little shadow underneath the text. We can add the stroke around it. Now I'm not gonna recommend basically any of these options unless it is a header or some kind of visual element. If you would just have paragraph text, just keep it plain and simple and easy to read. There's also character spacing and line spacing. So all the spacing between your letters you can adjust. You can make line spacing automatic or set it to be a custom line spacing. You can do that there. We can also select vertical text, enable that. I don't want that, but you can enable vertical text. And then you have some SEO and accessibility is like, for instance, we can tag our text to be a specific HTML tag, like the H1 tag, which is usually your main, main header. H2 is like subheaders. And of course you have paragraph text for any paragraph text in here. Now, when we change that text to vertical, we kind of messed up some of our layout, which can happen. So I'd recommend not just clicking through every option unless you actually mean to edit your text. And that way I'll have to rebuild some of this stuff with the box and the section. However, those are most of the options here, I believe, to edit text here on your Wix website. It's really actually pretty easy to get in here and just double click in and start to edit your text. Now I'm gonna rebuild this so that everything is included in this box again. You can click and move text around. And if you weren't sure how to add text, let's go ahead and uh, scale this down a little bit more so we have some more room. Let's say I wanted to add some text below here. You can actually go to the plus icon to add elements. You can add text and then you can add themed text. So here's all those themes again, the different header styles and paragraph styles, or you can just go to paragraphs and add some kind of paragraph text out here. And it's going to pull with it the specific font that it says, but you can always, like we showed, edit that text 
and make adjustments. So we pulled out this paragraph. We can edit this by double clicking and typing whatever we want and making whatever text setting adjustments we want here on Wix.